It's an exciting time to bring a newborn into the world, and every parent wants to make sure their infant gets the best care possible. Feeding is a vital part of caring for a baby, but it's important to find the right balance between giving them enough nourishment and not overfeeding them. Negative effects might arise from overfeeding an infant in the short and long terms. We will discuss the risks of overfeeding babies in this video and provide advice on how to form wholesome feeding practices. During the first few weeks of life, newborns have small stomachs and little stomach space. It's critical to understand that their dietary requirements are different from those of older infants and kids. Overfeeding a baby can result in a number of issues, such as 1. Digestive distress. Overfeeding can lead to digestive problems like colic, reflux, and excessive gas. A newborn's developing digestive tract could find it difficult to process a lot of milk or formula. 2. Weight growth concerns. Excessive eating may be the cause of rapid weight growth, particularly in the first few weeks. While some weight gain is necessary, gaining too much weight can eventually cause health problems. 3. Allergies and sensitivities. Overindulging in food at one time may raise the chance of developing allergies or sensitivities to certain foods at a later age. 4. Sleep disturbances. Newborns who are overfed may feel uncomfortable and find it difficult to fall asleep, which can be upsetting for both the infant and the parents. 5. Fussy behavior. Overfed newborns may cry, show signs of fussiness, and generally seem uncomfortable. Parents and other caregivers must recognize the warning signs that suggest a newborn may have eaten more than they are comfortable handling in order to prevent overfeeding. These indicators could be 1. Frequently throwing up or spitting up following meals. 2. An abnormally high quantity of wet diapers, which could indicate an excessive intake of fluids. 3. Excessive weight gain that goes beyond the baby's age-appropriate growth curve. 4. Constant fussiness, discomfort, or colickiness. 5. Having trouble falling and remaining asleep. Parents and other caregivers should abide by the following rules to avoid overfeeding. 1. Recognize your baby's hunger signs. Keep an eye out for the baby's hunger cues, which include rooting, sucking on hands, or displaying restless behavior. In order to prevent overfeeding, feed the baby when they exhibit these indications. 2. Pay attention to portion sizes. When using bottles to feed a child, use caution since it can be simpler to overfeed. For advice on how much formula or expressed breast milk is recommended, consult your pediatrician. 3. Adhere to a feeding schedule. Make sure the infant eats on a regular basis by creating a feeding schedule. This lessens the possibility of overfeeding by helping to control their intake. 4. Speed feeding. If your baby is being bottle fed, follow this technique. Imitate the slower flow of breast milk while letting them set the speed for themselves. 5. Burp the infant. During feedings, give your infant lots of burps to avoid air ingestion, which can cause discomfort. 6. Speak with a healthcare professional. To ensure that the baby is getting the right amount of nutrients and to monitor their progress, routine checkups with a physician are crucial. For parents and other caregivers, feeding a newborn can be a fulfilling and bonding experience. But it's important to understand the possible risks associated with overfeeding. Parents can make sure their babies get the proper quantity of nutrition without running the risk of overfeeding related problems by observing their baby's cues, adhering to the recommended feeding standards, and consulting medical professionals. During these priceless early months, a balanced feeding strategy will help keep the infant healthy and comfortable.